before he became a three-time All-Pro and Defensive Player of the Year. Carolina's Luke Keekley came into the ESPN Sports Science Lab for testing. Here's what we found out. One of Keekley's best attributes is his speed. In our acceleration test, Keekley hits a top speed of 20.4 miles per hour. That's on par with Seattle cornerback Richard Sherman, even though Keekley is more than 40 pounds heavier. But of course, there's more to being an NFL middle linebacker than straight line speed. We want to put you through our pursuit test. Okay. We're going to have you navigate your way through traffic to get to the ball carrier. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Despite the obstacles, Keekley still gets up to 15.1 miles per hour, or 74% of his top speed. And he levels the dummy with more than a ton of peak impact force. That's like getting kicked by a horse. What we want to do is we're going to put you on the goal line and have you meet a ball carrier head on as you're trying to jump over a pile to stop the play. Great. Ready to do it? Sir. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Sensors reveal that Keekly launches off the ground with over 940 pounds of force. And Keekly's combination of rapid acceleration and mass allows him to stop the ball carrier just eight inches short of the goal line. This means at the goal line, even if he's up against a back like CJ Anderson, who's moving at 14 miles per hour, Keekly can generate enough force to instantly halt his forward momentum and stop him dead in his tracks. But Keekly is more than just a run stopper. He also excels in coverage. In fact, with two pick sixes in the playoffs, he has more touchdowns than all the Denver wide receivers in the postseason combined. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.